this is just a quick video to demonstrate how to use the mask render extension. So uh, I'm just going to walk through how to uh, set that up. I've got an empty project here. Uh, I'm just going to put a fill into it to start. So this is a control with a fill render extension. And I'm just going to resize this to be the exact same size as the, as the uh, screen that I'm on. And then I'm going to show how to use the mask. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gradient and I'm going to drag a gradient uh, render extension out here. And I'm going to select some colors. And for the purpose of, you know, just showing you how to use the mask, I think this is good. And now if you look at the properties for control over here, you can see that there is this new mask property that you can apply to a control. And basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to add any render extension to act as a mask for the control. So we can add a text render extension if we want to right here. And you can see that all of a sudden the whole gradient has disappeared and we're rendering the text in uh, with that gradient color so the text is adding acting as the mask for the whole control and therefore only drawing the pixels of the text in the gradient color and so you can add that through here in the mask properties for the control and you can remove it if you don't like it and say you want to add a different one you could do that as well any any render extension can be added as a as a mask so you can add in a circle, for example, and as you can see, the control only renders the pieces of the circle uh, that are a part of the mask. And uh, that's it. That's how you use the uh, mask feature on controls in Storyboard 7.0.